the morning to all you wonderful, beautiful people out there. How are you guys doing today, man? Having a good day so far? Let's make it better. Ready? Oh yeah, that's good. This place is an absolute mess. Look at this. The boys went to town with their paper and their crayons, and we've got a lot to do today. We've got Whoa, uh, don't fall over the tripod, Brian. We've got lots of stuff. The first thing I should probably do is clean this place up. That's gonna be number one. But after I get this place cleaned up, we've got a lot of outreach to do. I'm bringing one of my snakes down to do a lecture at the university. We're gonna take Noah to the zoo. He's really been wanting to go to our local zoo here, which not my favorite place in the world, but he's been really wanting to go. So we're gonna fulfill that request. Oh, and then I'm, I'm guest speaker at Turtle Club tonight where I will also bring snakes. So lots of, lots of community outreach today. I was really hoping to bring this Burmese python right here, my girl, but she's in shed because the talk is actually about the inverse invasive species in the Everglades and they were gonna show a berm, you know, it would be, it would make sense to show Burmese python, but she is in shed, man, look at her. Yeah, she's in shed, she's a little grumpy. I really don't wanna bring her around a bunch of college kids, holding her and stuff. I'm assuming that's what's gonna happen. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Would've been nice to have a Burmese python for the Burmese python talk, but hey man, you're gonna have to do what you're gonna do. I think we're gonna have to bring Patsy LaRue instead, cause she's not in shed and she hasn't eaten recently, so she hopefully won't be peeing on anybody either. And I'm gonna have to turn this tub into a travel container. I got my thermostat down there. I'm gonna make it travel happy for the bigger snakey and yeah, but first, guys, let's get this place cleaned up. All right, clean, I can live with that. Now I'm ready to show you guys how we're gonna put this thing together. It's actually extremely simple. I just stick my, oh look at the fan. All I do is I tape the thermostat probe to this heat mat, and that probe of course is running out to one of these. You don't have to use a cheap thermostat like that, but that's what I'm using right now. But it is a thermostat just to control this heat pad, and I'll probably set it at like 82, just to get a little ambient temperature going on. And ideally it would fit all the way in the bottom, but if it's going up the side, not a big deal. The idea is just to get a little bit of heat in there, and then I will throw, some newsprint over top of it just to give the snake a little space between the pad and also the snake's going in a bag if the snake was loose inside that tub i wouldn't rely on that because they could get caught up in the tape but the snake's going in a bag unless your snake's going in a bag i wouldn't recommend putting the probe inside the tub with the snake mmm snake in a bag ready to go see some kids patsy come on let's go And there we go, snake in a bag, in a box, ready to go meet some college kids. All right guys, you ready to do this? All right, we're here at the campus, we got Patsy in her little travel bin. We're gonna go meet Haley and then uh, head to the classroom. We're headed to the classroom, Haley's gonna give her talk and we got Patsy LaRue in here. Hopefully she gets to hang out with some cool kids, would be awesome. All right, Condor came in for, with uh, lead poisoning and they taxed her, I mean, it's, look at the size of that bird. I'm not a bird guy, but that's impressive. This is our bird room. All the mammals and birds hang You see that claw? That thing's sweet. Prehistoric stuff, guys. pet Burmese pythons get. I do want to make a little plug. Um, 20 foot pythons do happen. They're kind of like seven foot tall people. It can happen, but it's not the norm. Most of these snakes as pets grow between eight and 12 feet long. But with that said, you can see this is a big animal to take care of. <laughs> see, friendly people can come. 
Yeah, she said, if you guys yeah. want to come, this snake is completely docile. So just don't reach at her from the front. <laughs> just be gentle with her. She's like, she's oh, trying why would it bite me? Ooh. I know it cost <laughs> yeah. me. Yeah, it's used to people being holding it. This it's like a doll. Mm -hmm. This is his pet. This is his little family member. She's one of the smaller ones, actually. How? <laughs> at home, you have a yeah. her. What's your name? What's her name? Yeah, this these is are Patsy. Uh, <laughs> what was this? Patsy Lou. <laughs> Patsy such a patsy. Yeah. <laughs> this is so so muscular. Oh, I love that. Oh, my. Yeah, I've got a whole room. Awesome. You guys probably want to hear more from Haley, and you will. You will. We're gonna go out at some point. She does a lot of work with the rattlesnakes out here in the wild population, and I think at some point in the next couple weeks, I'm gonna go out in the field with her and go find some rattlers, and that should be pretty awesome. And I'll probably have her on Triple B TV for an interview too, because she's gonna be one of the first people I actually have from the scientific community come in. You know, I have plenty of enthusiasts and hobbyists and readers, but haven't had any uh, scientific folks on yet. So I think Haley's gonna be our first. Check that out. Hey Noah. I did not do that for our art. I did a moon for our art. Well, what, what, what is it, Noah? A one's a giant calendar. One is the last letter after as my name. <laughs> and it's an eight. What is it, guys? <laughs> it's a giant calendar. That's what, right? Is it a giant calendar, Noah? Yeah. It's called a giant calendar. Because it's got something giant on it. <laughs> it's that thing on it is supposed to be giant, but I need it to be that big because it's just. I'm sorry, <laughs> what you know? I know. A. A. What about A? Dad, it's the first letter of ABCs. The alphabet? Yeah. Can you please help me unbuckle and that? Is Anything else? Uh, that's that's what I know about A. I don't really, I don't know that much about the letter A. Can you, what about a word that starts with the letter A? A. A. A word that starts with the letter A is apple. Please give me a. We'll catch you up, baby. A. Can you tell me what you know? No, no, no. Okay, we'll leave it in your. Lunch, okay? Scorpions. <laughs> you don't seem too excited about those scorpions, Jimmy. <laughs> and Tina's on it. Do you think we'll see any scorpions today? Yeah. Yeah? Are you tired, Dad? Yeah. Yeah. Going that way? Nope. Going to the zoo. Going that? Nope. Going that? Nope. Going that? What way do you think we're going? Um, that. That. Right there. Mm -hmm. Bye, guys. <laughs> Malayan tiger. You guys, you see it back there? Yeah. This kind of makes me sad because 
it's in a very small space. Is it a real one? Why isn't it? Why isn't it? Why isn't it looking at us, Mommy? Let's go get a diet. There's the little monkey, but here's the real little monkey right here. There's the real little monkey. <laughs> hey, little buddy. I'm Jada. The Hillary's side neck turtle. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, that's cute. So this is the Atascadero Zoo. It's our local zoo. It's about two minutes from the house, and slightly depressing to be honest. It's not. It's a small zoo, and there's a tiger with a pretty small cage. And but it is only two minutes away from the house, so the boys really wanted to come, so we figured we'd fulfill their wish, come check it out a little bit, and then make our way out. I'm coming out. We came, we saw, we're leaving. <laughs> hey, we didn't have to pay, which is good. Mom. Went to this really cool place in Arizona that was a zoo sanctuary, so there's a big difference because sanctuaries take in animals that are injured, animals that are uh, would otherwise be euthanized if a z another zoo closes, rescue and rehabilitate, so that's, I like supporting that. I don't think they do that here. I need to look into it more because I'm being really judgmental without actually knowing the facts, but usually if they do any kind of rescue stuff, um, they're considered a sanctuary. So, I've been putting it off because I didn't want to come here, but the boys are so into animals right now that I thought this would be the perfect time, if any, to show them some of the animals. So, my This is shaking around the camera, does that simulate fast forward? Fast forward, later in the day when I'm about to go do the talk at the Turtle Club, I left my camera equipment at the university, and so I'm meeting Haley down here at the brewery, a local brewery, where she hopefully has my bag, because she said she'd bring it, and maybe she remembered <laughs> better than I did when I forgot it. But I also forgot to get her to say a little bit about herself, so maybe we can get her to do that too, while we're here. We'll see. You can take my picture. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Like a good stout. Since I so rudely did not introduce Haley this morning, why don't you tell everybody what who you are and what it is you do oh. in a nutshell? I'm Haley Lane. I'm a grad student at Cal Poly, formerly a USGS employee. I work on rattlesnakes and large reptiles. It's not gonna be the last time you see Haley, so get used to her. That was awesome. Quick little pint before the Turtle Club meeting where I'm speaking. Nice, loosen me up just a hair. And ah. Uh, it turns out that that brewery is actually owned by Dr. Emily Taylor. If you guys have been watching the vlog for a while, you might remember Dr. Emily Taylor is the lady who helped me sew up those gopher snakes that I found uh, back last summer. So she actually owns that brewery, and I guess Tuesday nights they have a reptile night at the brewery. So I'm very interested to see what that is all about, and I'm sure that we will. I'll take you guys along when we do that. But for now, got to run to the Apple Store, grab a cable, and get over to the reptile speaking event. Dude, you got parking right in front of the Apple store? Ha! That never happens to me! <laughs> Painless, easy, hopefully this adapter works for what I need it to do. Ha! So I got this awesome light 
it sits on top of my camera. I've got this little thing right now that like splits, splits like my hot shoe on the camera in, into multiple directions so I can fit my microphone and this light so that I'm, when I'm walking down the street at night, I can still, you can still see me. And, and, the, and it's lit nicely. Look at how nicely this, look at these trees back here all lit up. That's freaking sweet, man. So we were locked out for half a second, but we managed to get the doors open so it looks like the meeting is happening. Yay! <laughs> we need to lock that door to go. Yeah. You filming me? Oh yeah. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Look at, that, look at that beast of a man. So you get the view of the great audience. Patsy has made lots of new friends today. Hello. We just finished the talk at the Turtle Club. Everybody's playing with snakes now. We're having a good time. We're on the block. Nobody applauded my speech, so I, I need to work. <laughs> so apparently I need to work on my speaking skills, or maybe have one less pint next time I come up to talk, or maybe take a little more notes or prepare, you know, something like that. Hey, we're on the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you had fun with us today. Hey, co comment that Brian should get a turtle. Yes. <laughs> These guys are really pushing for me to get a turtle since I'm part of the turtle club. Don't have one yet. Let's take a poll vote up here. Should I get a turtle? Say no. Hey, I heard that. You guys take care of yourselves. Take care of each other.